And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the hair, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life and man became a living soul. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise, go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my word. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheel. And, and the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hands of the potter. So he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make it. Father, have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter. I am the place. Mold me and make me after thy will. Touch us today and speak to our spirit. Let your will be done in us. Revive, refresh, restore, renew. We thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Amidst all the theories that are circulating in the world today to try to explain the origin of man. And Miss Mr. Darwin and his theory of evolution. And Miss the scientists that comes with their philosophies which has proven to be just fiction. We have a credible source. Hallelujah. We have we have a true world of prophecy that really brings us into the reality of where we are from. I don't know about you, but I did not originate from a monkey. Yes. 
see how beneath the earth. And the Bible said, when God considered, he made man out of the dust of the earth. You see, God is a master potter. He looked down on some clay that was not worthy. Look down on some clay that looked useless. So you look at the sun and it is dark. 